Hello there and welcome to today's AFK journey video. So for today's AFK journey video, it will just be a short account update for Zboss over here as you guys can see. So we are 6,314k power and this account is one month old. So we are 31 days on login. I haven't actually clicked on my um, Celestial Sashipujin yet because I want to actually do this on video and see who you get over here. So without further ado, let's claim and see who we are getting for this one oh wow oh this this insanely good this insanely good okay so basically we will be able to get all four of them eventually but it takes quite a while to unlock each of these four and i'm super happy to unlock rainer first because like i think for free to play players getting rainer to the mythic plus rank for the ex weapon unlock is really really important so wow this is an amazing <laughs> amazing luck guys woohoo nice over here okay so in terms of my general progression in terms of the efk challenges we are at 951 i don't think the percentages will matter too much because there's quite a lot of people that actually got through to 1125 for server one for global server so i think in terms of my percentages it should still be four three to four percent i guess and uh, i'm pretty contented with the progression in general because uh, ever since i got my a torrent to oh, oh i got an ascension bundle but i can't buy it so this is my hero setup right now so ever since i got torrent to supreme plus as well as od to supreme with ex weapon i think the overall progression has just been accelerated greatly and in general i think this account has been shaping up to what i want to see the next unit that i'm working on is actually merely to mythic plus so that i can improve my dream realm rankings and also trying to finish up the story as you guys can see over here so I'll say that the last few chapters for Remnant's Pick, they're locked behind a level wall. So I don't think I can reach there, but I'll probably finish AFK Challenges first before I finish the last chapter for Remnant's Pick. So I, I will say that uh, right now we're on the 31 day mark, so we can probably finish this by the 40th day mark. And that will be more than sufficient because we are ahead of time and we're ready for Song of Strife, right? Reaching residence level 240 as well as finishing up everything so super excited and uh, in terms of my general rankings for arena we just reached legendary 2 so we are still i would say like two ranks away from champions right yeah two ranks away from champions hopefully by the time my units reach level 240 and i have all my equipments leveled up and i have my units slightly at a better level i can push for higher ranks right hopefully hopefully we squeeze into the top 100 or 200 i i don't have high expectation because uh in case you guys do not know global server one is really really competitive which is good to a certain extent but maybe not so good in other words but in general i would say that the uh, top 100 to top 200 is my goal especially i would say 200 right 200 to be more realistic okay so that's for the arena side of things for the dream realm side of things it's tough it's tough right now because uh like i mentioned earlier i do it merrily i will probably try to do a rerun for this one later on to try to push into the top 20 percent but for dream Mail side of things i think it's uh, not easy to catch up because a lot of the i'll say like the top rankers right they are i'll say like based on the damage that they have they are pretty much at the end game team or the free to play end game team which i showcased in my yeti guide so it's gonna be a tough hurdle to overcome hopefully if i can get my merrily up uh, i can try my best to squeeze into top 100 or top 200 for dream realm so that's my goal for this account I, I don't know what will happen to this account after i'm done with everything i'll probably do a video to showcase a team that doesn't run this year because this is the account that this year is not trained up at all so i'll probably use this account as an example and I also finish up the ultimate progression guide based on the free to play player side of things because this is one account which i totally never stand spend any money and it's one account which i can use to explain how you can progress faster even if you're free to play so that is something which i'm planning ahead in terms of every other content i think generally battle drill i just get all my rewards legends trial we are above 50 floor i guess i could push for more but i don't need those resources so i don't actually bother to like let's say if i do need the dust or if i need the the essence for my ex weapon then i'll definitely just push through the levels from there but i think it will just get easier as i get higher levels and since i'm not competing to be the first 
to get to the top floor it doesn't really matter for me so that's for the legend trial side okay so yeah that's pretty much it for this uh video right it's just a short one month review for this account hopefully you guys are with me still right it's been a month since we started playing on this account i think this account is a pleasant surprise to a certain extent because it helped me see a lot of new things and also like so understand some units can be really op and some units which are relatively untested in my other accounts i actually have the opportunity to test them a lot on this one from the progression point of view so yeah i learned a lot and i have new ideas for contents for afk journey so as to give the like newcomers or free to play players who wants to give my view a try some perspective right if you don't want to go for cc because i saw comments asking for my free to play teams for arena as well as honey bear so i decided to re-record it and add it into this part so for the arena team per se personally this is my arena team setup but my advice for free to play players right in general will be to just use your strongest units because stats is quite important in arena and at the same time uh, you need some form of synergy in terms of team building so i will just explain how my team setup works this is not a very powerful team but we have torrent and od which are my strongest unit obviously and then we have viperion right so viperion is a really good arena unit in a sense this unit can actually slow down your enemy while doing massive magic damage and i also have smokey and coco which are two of the uh, best defensive units in game uh, even I think Smokey if your enemy don't do anything to him which is highly possible because uh, I don't think there's a lot of irons or even uh, like uh, units with disruption at the lower tier at least at where I am so I think using Smokey is still okay but if your bracket is pretty competitive then Smokey might not be a good choice because there's actually a bunch of controllers that are really powerful as you move up the ladder right units like Arden units like Carolina units like Iron and then you have uh, the confining spell so for me I use the star shot spell because uh, my strongest unit is actually OD what I want to do with uh, OD is to for him to just throw out as much ultimate and then try to insta kill people to there and that's why I linked up OD to Torrent to protect him and then we have Smokey to heal him up and provide the uh, fight cloud if uh, like the enemy doesn't disrupt smokey and then we have coco which provides additional sustain so the positioning like this is to counter reina so that's the defensive setup as for the offensive side of things i generally play around with the units i have i'll say like i will play around uh, sylvina right, sylvina is a pretty good uh, assassin unit even at a lower tier because she gets quite a bit of damage if you're able to snipe off key targets she's quite powerful and then sometimes I use to measure in the event where my enemy don't have a lot of control and I need control or disruption or just a very annoying unit on the front line against the enemy. So that's for the uh, switching. Uh, other units I use include uh, Audio Heroin. I think Heroin is just a unit which I think if your enemy don't answer to her and if she's able to get off like two or three ultimates, she's basically winning you the game in arena per se. So that's one thing that Heron is really good at. And then obviously we have the Rainer. So Rainer for me, I use him more offensively because Rainer's ability is not just a damage uh, bar for your team. His ability to switch target is actually the strongest part of his kit. And that was uh, Rainer is basically the reason why there's only a few maps in Arena that's fully utilized right now. Because uh, if Rainer is able to soak in a very powerful carry right, that can create devastation on your team, you can't kill the carry because the carry is uh the carry has some sort of damage reduction if he does have his ex weapon at the same time the unit they've sent over that unit is going to heal up the carry as well because um basically the skill works such that you sort of trade hp the damage that the swap enemy take right recovers hp for your carry or the units you send in so rainer is an insanely good arena unit on the offensive side of things for the defensive side it's not as good because people can play around him which uh, i i have a lot of experience but i'm not gonna explain it i'm saving for another video for reina so that's for the uh, reina arena side sometimes i use shakir as well if i see like uh, i can sort of allow shakir to build up enough energy for his ultimate because i don't have shakir at supreme plus yet so i don't have the the advanced morph this advanced morph is quite important for shakir to do what he wants like because his strongest part of the kit is the wolf form so um, that's for Shakir's case. Shakir is quite, I'll say, EX weapon reliant because his ability is actually really powerful. But um, you actually need the EX weapon for him to be decent enough because if not, he'll be a bit too slow. 
and he consumes energy way too fast so that his full form doesn't really last for very long. So that's for Shakir's case. So that's for the arena side of things. For Primal Lord, right? Honey Bear itself. Um, not, I'm not sure whether or not I showcased it in the earlier part, but my highest damage right now is uh, 7 million, 7.4 million. Not in the not in the ranks, top 17.69%. Uh, for me, my setup is like this. So it's pretty much the same setup that uh, I showcased for the Primal Lord guide. Because uh, I don't think I can find a better combination for now. My Rina's not up, so he doesn't offer as much damage. And at the same time, I think Cecilia, even though she's a very low tier in my team, like her role is to spawn another body or another golem so that she slows down the hunting process for my whole team, which is very valuable because slowing down the hunting process basically makes sure that your team survives longer. And that is what you want for uh, Primal Lord itself, right? So I'm going to switch out the levels of... Uh, like the unit and then just do a run to show you guys how it works out but i think you, some of you guys who have been at my primal lock guide should uh, know how it works right so that's for this one right i'm gonna give cc at a higher level because healers and support they are not as strong here right i need the additional damage from cc over here so let's start that battle so starship spell as usual pretty much the same thing i just upgraded the levels from the video itself and Hopefully in today's uh, run or rather after clearing contents for today, I'll be able to push all my units to uh, level 190 altogether and then I can upgrade their equipment and then increase my tiers a little more, right? From there, I get more treasure chests and then I can do more damage, so on and so forth. So as you guys can see, I think uh, CCS Golem is actually insanely good in this scenario because my CC is very under invested. So there's a possibility that the golem might actually just disappear and just die before she uses a skill again. And this is good because when Cecilia uses a skill again, as you guys can see, the golem is not honeyed. So it buys quite a bit of time for my team, especially I'll say for this free to play account. Because um, if you are very stacked up Cecilia, what happens is that your golem is actually really, really thick, right? It survives for very, very long. And by the time like uh, the golem is gonna die, Cecilia's ultimate is ready, and then you're just gonna use the ultimate and then refresh the golem. But the refresh golem doesn't remove the honey. Whereas if you have a really weak Cecilia, in this case, the the golem just dies, right? So Cecilia's role is to just buy time for the team. So you guys can see the damage distribution, right? Not very high, 700 plus. So it's like more. I mean, she can do damage obviously, but in my case, I use her more as a slow down for the hunting process itself. Yeah. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Do remember to like and subscribe to see more of my Z-Boss free-to-play journey. And I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye, guys.